season we had a strong start but by christmas day we threw it away this year if i want to stay here i better have something special all right yeah we're back with the uh, final whistling football manager 2024 where i am still at fastly we survived by the skin of our teeth and i'm missing a lot of teeth since i moved back to the usa a few years ago so it wasn't a lot of skin God, we barely survived. I'm bringing you the July. Um, anything that happens in July in the pre-season. Uh, let me just have a look at the schedule first. Make sure it's July the end of the pre-season for us. Banner North, last day of the month. Maybe I'll bring you that uh, as part of the August one. Or maybe I'll bring it this month. We'll see. Anyway, mostly what we're going to be doing is uh looking i'm not going to show you the friendlies but looking to see what we can get into our squad just a reminder of how seasons have gone so far started out with trefellan completely relegated doomed just about the end maybe a little bit before they got rid of us bagland dragons got rid of us before the end because we've done so badly then we had um Ballyclare, comrades, where we actually did better than what we were expected. We got about mid-table. That was good, but they weren't willing to offer me a raise, and I foolishly moved on. Ended up getting an international job with, uh, oh, it was uh, Republic of Cong Congo, not Democratic Republic of Congo. These are two separate nations, in case you don't know, but I'm assuming most of you do. And, yeah, we didn't do any worse than we were really expected. Two wins and a draw out of out of the uh, African nations qualifications. Basically, we were the second worst team, and we beat the worst team and drew with the best team. But I wasn't going to stay there. I mean, they weren't happy with us. They were willing to give us another shot. We moved on. To Farsley, a local place to where I grew up. I grew up in Shipley, Brad, uh, on the Bradford Met. That's in Leeds, as far as Leeds Met. Within walking distance, not necessarily easy walking distance, but it's within walking distance. All right, and we started out dead strong. We didn't quite. I think we got up to uh, promotion places at one point, and then around the mid-season we went bush and didn't recover all season. We started getting some draws at the end, which was what saved our necks. So. We escaped the drop zone by one point in the end. So, who's still with us? Well, I've got the manager, assistant manager, got rid of the head of youth development, because from what I understand, if you're this low, your youth team doesn't matter worth a damn. There's no point in worrying about it. I've uh, kept the forms analyst, uh, analyst, and I have a coach, but he's out of contract. I've actually got a goalkeeping coach as well, who's also out of contract. I may see if I can get someone else in for that. One scout at the moment. I'm looking for a better one. He's out of contract. Head physio and physio are kept in contract. Now, the squad. We'll look at the uh, ability here. Nicholas, are you Cunnel? Cunnel? Um, is new to the squad. We just picked him up. Billy Heap, also new to the squad. So that's a start. Uh, we got these on freeze um, in June. That's a striker and a defensive midfielder, midfielder. Aaron Dobbs, we kept around, striker. Anthony Glennon, we managed to keep around, pull back. Lewis Lukeman, who did okay, so we kept him around. Um, 
can play midfield, can play defensive right, so he's he's decent. Abraham Odo, not fantastic, but decent enough uh, to keep around for uh, attacking midfield, right, left, centre, midfield, right, left, etc. Versatile, midfield player, winger, good. Finn Howell's still with us. Uh, has he? I don't know if he's in contract or not, actually. Let me just go to contracts. Oh, I did renew his contract. I didn't, I had, I didn't remember doing so. Josh Ayers, we've got uh, under contract with us. Um, who's another striker, of course. Uh, was our biggest scorer, but not a great scorer. We'll see how he does. Uh, Mesa Nzondo, another striker who, again, didn't do exactly well. He's out of contract, but we have got a new one arranged at £400 per week. He's up from 250 I'm not sure about him, to be honest, but I didn't want to like him, and I still want to like him. Sanderson is out of contract with us, and I'm probably going to let him go. He can stick around on 275 until he goes. Hassim Bakker, I really wanted him, and we've got him. He's, uh, his wage has gone up. He's 575. Um, but he's a good... He should be on the right wing, actually. Um... Uh, Right, midfield. But anyway, we'll look at that later. Jerry Costello got a new contract from us. Defender. Ollie Brown, new contract defender. Uh, ben Eady is a youth. Palmer youth. All of these are youths. So let's switch back. What we know is we have no keeper. The loanies all went back, and we weren't able to get any of them back to us. So we have no keeper. Well, I mean, we've got this make-believe 18-year-old, Vinny Gambles. Or someone we don't want to play, let's face it. We've got uh, him. Uh, Kabin Martog. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, and I apologise for that. We've also got a couple of other youths around, which we don't really care about. <clears throat> we may actually look to get rid of them. But we have put a call out for all the free transfers we can get, for all the uh, trialists. So join us as we look to see what we can do. See you when we've got news. And there's our first signing in July. Michael Allen, goalkeeper. We are covered in goal now. He's one of our better players. 23 years old. Decent stats. Not perfect. We're not going to get perfect at this level. But he's joined for us. Now, some of the people we're looking at are going to be expensive for us, if they come at all. Let's continue. Another new signing, which I don't think you've seen before, was Leo Hamblin. Defender left centre. Barsley. We're playing in our centre. 25 years old. He's not a cheap one. Let's hope he does well. Well, before we close out, let's just take a look at this. The board would like to take time to give you a polite reminder of their expectations for the team's performance in the following competitions this season. Time the board are only offered, able to offer limited options for your wage and transfer budgets. We've got a wage budget of 12000 per week. That's not too bad because we got rid of the transfer budget. Do it on loans and uh, free transfers. Finish mid-table in Vanarama North after we were one point from relegation last time. Before I took over, they weren't talking like that, I'm telling you. Uh, English FA Cup, become competitive, whatever the hell that means, and be competitive in the FA Trophy. All right, join me next time as we start the season and go. Uh, I'll add the last game ahead of the opening game into September. We'll do a couple from September too. See you then. Hey, I'll never go!